All right, man. This is to get Packet Tracer running on Linux. This is a virtual machine using VirtualBox of Ubuntu fresh install, so it's got you know the standard Unity interface here. Anyway, got web browser here. Open up Cisco. Well, the Cisco Networking Academy is like Cisco.netacad.net or something like that. I'm pretty sure you know what it is. Click the login button over here, and it takes me to the, the login screen. So I enter a username and password, and then it brings me to the home. Right? All is good and dandy. So I click Cisco Packet Tracer over here on the left. Takes me to this page. There's a couple of different versions here. Blah blah blah. Final Linux version. Somewhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Right here. Software downloads. Okay. Here's the Linux versions right here. There's a tutorial on Linux stuff. I'm just gonna get this one. Uh, it's 70 megabytes, so I'll have to cut this video here and then resume it after I download it. But anyway, I'm just gonna do the bin right here. It's binary application only Linux blah 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 this one right here 70 megabytes and click it and download it and I'll resume this video after that's finished all right man we're back uh, it finished downloading and I just noticed while it was downloading right here to install Linux bin packages set the permission to be executable it gives you the terminal code right here so anyway let's uh, do that how the hell do I there we go anyway home folder to wherever you download it. I'm assuming it puts it here in home. Downloads. Okay, here it is. It's the file we just downloaded. You can right click it. You can go to properties. Click permissions and click uh, allow executing files of the program, but we're just going to do it the way on the website, which is with the terminal. Do do do. All right. We will uh, type ls. It's a list. We're in the home directory by default. A little, little squiggly line right there. I can't freaking highlight it because I suck at this. But the little squiggly line right there, that tilde, just means you're in the home directory. It's just short for home. So we'll cd to change directly to uh, change directory to downloads. I just type first couple of letters. It is case sensitive. And hit tab, and it'll autocomplete. You should already know that because you're Linux Wiz. And then list it, the directory contents, and there it is. There's the file. And on the website just to show you again there's the exact command they want you to use which just all that means is uh, it'll change the permissions of that file the packet tracer 533 right here this file it'll make it executable so you can run it so chmod plus x space and then the file name I just press tab to complete it because there's no way I'm typing all that out and then I press enter and now we do it again see how it's green it's now executable so to execute the file, you just type dot slash, which means execute in this current directory, and then capital P, and then I just hit tab to autocomplete, and it'll execute that file right here in the terminal. So here it goes. And what's the street a end user license agreement? Uh, who really cares? Just space bar out of it. Do you accept this term? Yeah, yes, we do. Yes. And you need your password. Uh, to continue on because it wants to install stuff to the system. The system's like, yeah, well, we need your permission. So just enter in your password for your user account. It doesn't show up when you type it, but it's happening. So just type in your password, press enter, and then it should unpack and install Pack Tracer. Let's yeah, see, there we go. Installed files, please wait. And there we go. It's installed. Where do you get it? Uh, in Unity, I have no idea. I'm assuming you just go up here to the dashboard and just type packet for packet tracer and there it is in the list click it of course it'll uh, give you some crazy prompts because it's the first time you're running it or something and here's packet tracer hopefully that wasn't too difficult uh, I might have sp you know spoken too fast so if you have any questions man just send me an email you have my email address and hopefully that will get you started with packet tracer in Linux